I'm here with Taz from ESC Gaming, who have just lost to NIP in the semi-finals of Mad Cats. Just by looking at your face, I can see that you're very disappointing. But tell me, uh, what are you feeling right now? Uh, I, I don't know. It feels maybe disappointing. But on the other hand, we knew it's going to be a very hard game. Uh, it's hard for me to say anything. I know that Dustu was right. Like we played very bad. We were having so many ideas how to play the T side. CT just didn't work out completely for us. And then on Inferno, we I don't know. We just played the NIP game as uh, terrorists. And then as CT, I don't know. We messed up so many rounds. We just got outplayed. I think. But on the Inferno, you were up 8-1 uh, and then NIP managed to, to turn the score around. How can you explain something like that, that, that a team is up by seven rounds early in the, f in the first half and that uh, you allow the other team to turn things around? We're talking about a team with uh, years of experience like yours. I think that they won like two very close rounds. I know that they won two against three on A, which we shouldn't lose, and uh, we've, been, we, we've been a bit unlucky in some of these rounds, but 11 to 4 was still very good as there is an Inferno. Uh, I think that any French team or uh, yeah, any French team would have won the game without any problems, but uh, we just couldn't play our normal game as CT, we just had like stupid, stupid ideas. When you look back to the um, to the final against NIP in Prague, uh, do you think that you have improved? Uh, okay, I'll be I'll be honest now. So people will hate me, but they hate me. <laughs> so so it doesn't matter that all, that much. We we slept only four hours after our uh, second group stage. Uh, which was very unfortunate. I know that the uh, organiza organizers were like trying as hell to make everything work and they made a very good event, but they were unlucky. And I think that we are the most unlucky team from all of this because we had to face NIP in the semifinals and we had like zero sleep. So I, I cannot tell you if we improved or, uh, or not, but I know that I think that there is like more potential in us that uh, we are a, we are going strong like in a good direction but we just lack something I don't know if it, if it was sleep or concentration or uh, we just tragic <laughs> I have no idea I, I hope that uh, we are doing some progress but we, we are not going to stop here we are probably going to practice even more and uh, we we'll hope for the best. Uh, in the first group stage, you lost to end faculty quite a bit surprising result, uh, and that was actually the result that threw threw you into the second group stage. Uh, what happened against the German team? Uh, I don't know. I think that we just wanted the win too much. We, re we really wanted to beat any faculty. I, I don't know why, but there was our like uh, the number one goal to win uh, win against them and. We had the lead, I think. We were like in a good spot. I don't remember correctly. But then we just started to lose round after round and it, it went like very, very bad for us. And uh, yeah, the game against the faculty was sad. But uh, the, the game against Navi is the game I was even more like angry about. But uh, do you think that maybe you underestimated and faculty? I don't think so. Uh, I think that our problem is that we uh, overestimate. Not, not under, underestimate. Yeah, but I think that our problem is that we overestimate our opponents. We we just uh, think that uh, LDLC is very strong, or like crazy strong. We think that the uh, NIP is like so good that we need to watch their demos and learn from them. And same again about like nine of ten teams we play against and practice onwards, they're like beating us uh, most like most often so we create this uh, thought in our heads that uh, okay they are good they got some tactics like this and this we need to do something against it and we just can't play our game because we get like mind uh, sorry for what fracked 
Uh, you also manage a, a draw against Navi, who almost beat very games now in the quarterfinals. Looking uh, at that result, do you think that uh, it was a good result for you guys? I think it was a bad result for us because uh, we had like 15-14 and I think that we were in a very, very good situation on the map. But then I just messed up like two of the most important rounds. One when I was like one against one with Zeus and I just played like a total newbie, uh, which probably I am. Uh, and then I didn't cover our backs in the last round and Zeus like killed two guys in the back. So I think that I just fucked up. Uh, if you look at the, at the statistics from the team, you are the player with the best uh, rating. Do you feel comfortable in the in this game? Uh, I, I feel comfortable, but I feel like we are not comfortable in a team yet. We we have like a lot of uh, very bad. Uh, Discussions we had like during the game we can tell to other guy that he played this bad, this wrong, this wrong. He made this mistake and this mistake after the game. We talk about just some of the stupidest stuff you can talk about that you lose a game because of some nade or because of uh, misplay. You don't talk about like the big things. We talk about the small things. They just uh, get mind fucked uh, by each other. So that's that's very bad for us. And uh, about the statistics, I, I I don't feel I feel like statistics are killing our team in some way because uh, maybe during the games uh, against the best better teams we are not looking at it too much. But then when we play against some weaker teams or uh, like strong teams like uh, LDLC. Uh, we feel like okay, maybe I will pick some more, and we die, and we do stupid stuff, and then uh, people are like, "You play on uh, with you're like looking on statistics, man. Stop, stop doing it. Don't go there. You you are going aggressive because you want to have more frags, and this is like this is like crazy. And uh, I just hope we can somehow fix it because the best plays are usually the ones uh, which are not in the statistics, like one on three or one on two, you, you, you can't see this in the numbers. You can only see this in a game, so I think that people should start like care more about these close situations, not about the statistics, because statistics just are bad. Uh, your team has been a lot better online than online. Uh, how big of an impact does this have? Uh, for example, if you look at the EZA, when you, when you are at risk of not making it to the finals, uh, does that damage your team in, in a way? Uh, ECA? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's actually a tragic, uh, like tra tragedy for us not because. Not but also other yeah, problems. Yeah, but I, I mean, in 1.6 we are known for a team who was like the biggest trash online, so everyone was like uh, beating us without any problems. We're like the most random team. And uh, in CSGO, at some point, we really played good online. And then, like, few after the update, I think that we just didn't put uh, enough hours. And uh, as you can see, like Navi, Navi put like huge amount of game, uh, playing time after the update. And we were like uh, confident in our game before the update. And after the update, we we're like top three. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Top three. We we'll lose or. And, and we are like uh, getting together now and before this event we practiced uh, a lot harder but uh, unfortunately we had to finish our ECA uh, qualification during the period where when we just like started to play a lot and we are not ready uh, to play on internet or these uh, better teams as you can see. What, uh, what, uh, what events do you have coming up? I think that we are going to yeah we are going to attend the Copenhagen Games. Uh, I think that we are going to some really crazy and fun event uh, in Russia, but I don't know if it's uh, announced yet. Yes. Yeah, it, it's announced, so yeah, it's going to be very cool. And I think that those are the two nearest ones. And uh, yeah, we will, we will put a lot more time in playing now, as we can see that we don't need that much to play on a level we want. And uh, how will you, will you practice for Copenhagen Games? Uh, I think that we are. I think I think a lot. Uh, I will, we will probably boot camp uh, at ESC uh, IC Box Place. Uh, we are like before this tournament, we had like four days of boot camp, 
and it wasn't enough so we were probably going to do like one week or uh, one and a half week before Copenhagen games because I think it's time for us to at least uh, take one map from NIP or beat them. I don't. I had the stuff that they are winning everything. I mean, like get right, Forest, uh, Exist. They are from 1.6, and uh, we like we beat them in some events in 1.6. Then why we can't do it in this game? So I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I hope that uh, with time we have like more teams battling for a first place, not only NIP, because at the moment the game is getting killed by NIP's uh, great performance. They, they are like, uh, maybe for some people they are like awesome, great, super, but for other people, like more than a half, they are killing the game because there's like, oh man, there's so this great game, very games against the Navi, but you know what? Who cares? Nip who is going to win. So I just hope that uh, maybe even this tournament, NIP will lose. I like the guys. But uh, you know, for the spirit of uh, the game and for the interest from players, from fans, from gamers, we just need more teams uh, on the first place. Uh, that's it for me. Do you have anything else you want to say to our fans? Well, of course, I would like to thank our fans for supporting us, uh, even though we suck uh, so badly. And I would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Icybox, uh, BenQ, uh, Sennheiser, QPad, and uh, if I forgot, probably Puma, and who, who I got here, yes, I want to thank all you guys. I lo we love you, thank you for making it possible for us to travel and uh, play for our fans. Uh, thank you.